So to discuss the political instability in Tswane, we're joined by Gauteng Cocktail MEC, MZ Kumalo. MEC, good evening to you and welcome. Uh, I'm sure, you know, along with everyone else, you, you're watching this dramatic saga play out. And I, I'd love your reaction this, this evening. Good evening to you and good evening to, to, to your viewers. <laughs> Obviously, we are disappointed where we are as we watch the development that are taking place in uh, Tswane. But I think one of the things that uh, um, they are telling us, not only us as leaders in government, but also the, the, the entire population of this country, is that it would appear very clearly now that uh, the issue of coalition governments are going to be a challenge. And therefore, it is best that if we are to sustain our democracy, it is better for the population of South Africa to vote for one party so that that particular party take responsibility once and for all for the governance of um, either a local government, provincial government or national government. The calling of coalition governments by other parties because they know not in their lifetime would they make a majority party has seems to fail in, in our politics as the country. However, we do take note of the fact that um, coalition governments are here and coalition government are here to, to live with us. But we also... May, may, I just pause, may I just pause on that point? Uh, so sorry, MEC. I just don't want you to go ahead and I really want to come back to the point that you're raising. We, we've heard, you know, over and over that coalition politics are the way to go. If they're done properly, uh, there's an opportunity for diversity of thought and leadership, but they've got to get their stuff together. We've seen monolithic parties like the ANC... Uh, again, fail on issues of, of service delivery. So it's not a panacea for all our political ills in the country or service delivery ills. No, look, people go to coalition government for different reasons. We know, for instance, that the DA goes to coalition government and other parties, Action SA, so to say, because they want to remove the ANC out of power. It is not about uh, service delivery issues. If it was coalition government based on service delivery issues, we would have a coalition government that says the governing party has failed on the following aspect. We are coming in to address those particular aspects. And therefore, as citizens of that particular area, we will be able to judge them on the basis of the improvement that they've made. Clearly, if you go to Tswane, there isn't such a thing. The people of Tswane, the, the, the communities of Tswane are worst off. Um, because it, it is coalition government that are not principled, but coalition government that have to do with um, a dominance of one party since uh, 1994. They wish to um, 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 regime change, so to say, yeah. by those that have been on the sideline for quite a long time. So it's not a, a, a call for a coalition government that really is based on matters of, 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 of service delivery. And I'm saying, yeah. so look, yes, that is a point it will then um, enjoin us, both as leaders in government and the, 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 the general populace, to rethink uh, the whole concept of coalition government in our country as it is. It might be that uh, we are not ready as yet. Uh, yeah, look, I, we can perambulate all night around the issue of coalition government, uh, governments and whether you have, you know, one dominant party, which s s certainly seems to be a model that has not really worked functionally, uh, which is why you see, I don't want to call it regime change, but why you, why you see political change in the various metros. Let's go to some of the hearts of the, the, let's go to the heart of the matter now, just on the issue of what happens next in Tswane. There's no doubt that there's political leadership, uh, political instability. It is leadership, leaderless and it's been unable to hold on to a leader in the context and environment of, of financial mismanagement and irregularity. I know you were meant to meet with the AG on how you rescue the situation uh, and, and what leadership can be brought and consequences can be brought to bear in Tswane. What is the outcome of that meeting uh, with the Auditor General? Yeah. Uh, let me just also demonstrate my point my, on this issue of coalition government. The coalition partners uh, that today have exposed... Um, the, um, the the executive mayor they can't tell me that all along they were not aware of the situation of uh, um, uh, Dr. Moruna Maguarela. They can't say that because if that is the case, then it puts into into question the system of vetting those that they work with. But secondly, the meeting with the uh, auditor general still still has to take place. We have not uh, uh, really uh, met. Um, but at the same time, we've looked at the report of the uh, Auditor General 
we are preparing ourselves because we can't just wait on the start lines uh, as such. We are preparing ourselves to ensure that uh, we intervene in the situation of Tswan. But let's let's start from the beginning. We now know that we don't have the speaker in Tswani and we don't have the executive mayor in Tswani. And we've got to resolve that. So it means in terms of section 36, the municipal manager of that uh, municipality must convene as a matter of agent, a municipal council at, at which the speaker of the council is going to be elected. And at, in that same council, the executive mayor of uh, that town should also be elected. And once we have that, uh, the executive mayor will then sort out issues that relate to mayoral committees, because you will recall that mayoral committees are committees of the executive mayor, not necessarily the council. So that once we have that, we will look at all the remedies suggested by the AG yeah. on what's to be done in Swani and share them with the political leadership so that the political leadership can then play an oversight over the administration to deal with the issues that the AG would have uh, um, necessarily identified. Because it's not going to help us to rush there whilst we have this leadership uh, vacuum, vacuum and crisis as it is. Yes. Right. So, so final one, it was under placed under administration in 2020. Uh, there's grotesque financial mismanagement, um, unauthorized spending. You know, the, there's a, the, the, there are a litany of problems when it comes to financial management in the city and amplified now in the context of a leadership black hole. Um, is that possibility likely that they again get placed under administration? Look, the fact of the matter is that nothing has improved. And we had a leadership, coalition leadership that was there in denial and not wanting to accept the responsibility. Where we are, we are more than concerned of us addressing the issues that have been raised by the um, AG. And we know that with a sensible leadership and cooperation between ourselves and that municipality, we will be able to um, address those particular issues. I think the issue of taking Tswani to administration, and so it must be a matter of the last resort. So I'm not really in a hurry to, to can do that. It is not in my priority as it is. I believe in cooperation. I believe in discussions. I believe in negotiations. And I think that once we have mm. a leadership, there, it doesn't matter which coalition will be governing. But I think that uh, we must just sit down as leaders, be sensible, and, and act in the best interest of the people of Tuani. Our concern should be one and one only, the citizens of Tuani, the people of Tuani, service delivery, yeah. as it relates to all of these matters that uh, the AG would have identified. Yeah, and unfortunately at the moment, they seem to be, you know, unfortunate casualties in political warfare in the city. We're going to leave it there just by, by way of on the record, uh, MEC. We did speak to uh, Dr. Kone Milder earlier on asking the question around when did they know, when did the DA know about this um, insolvency uh, forgery issue? And uh, he told us it was just days ago. So uh, because it was a question that was raised by COPE, did they sit on it for a whole year or more than a year while um, uh, Dr. Macquarella was uh, the speaker in the council? We leave it there and we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much. Khateng Kok to MEC Mzi Kumalo.